Welcome. In front of me is a cross call Core M5, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So, to get started, I'm going to quickly touch upon the state of this device, and you can clearly see that the phone right now is locked. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it so I can proceed with the setup, or I could use a Google account instead to unlock it that way, assuming I don't know the screen lock. Now, we're assuming that we don't know either of those, so to get started, we're going to progress through the setup till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page. You do want to connect your network. In a second, you'll see that I am connected to my own network right over here. And once you connect to yours, then you want to back out to the beginning of the setup. And in here, we're going to select vision settings, and then you will need to select talkback. Enable it. Probably mute it. Talkback on. Welcome to Talkback. As you can hear, it's a little bit loud and obnoxious, so I do recommend muting it. From there, come on, get rid of it. There we go. So uh, from there, once you enable the talkback, you will realize that the screen doesn't really work as it used to. So right now, when you tap on something, it will actually select it. So if it's a text, it will start reading it. And uh, double tapping it will confirm options. Now, with that in mind, we're going to now progress further. So what you want to do is draw a mirrored L like this on the screen. It will bring up this window. So you want to double tap on the first option, which is already selected. Then single tap, use voice comments. And before we double tap on it, I'm going to quickly go into what we will need to say to the device. This will need to be audibly said to it. So the first thing, once you double tap on it, you will hear a beep at which point you want to say open Google Assistant. You'll probably hear two more beeps, assuming that the muting of the sound didn't affect that. And it will open up Google Assistant, at which point you will want to follow up with open YouTube. Now, that being said, you will hear the first beep most likely. Uh, the second and third are questionable, I guess we'll find out. Uh, but the way you can know when you need to say open YouTube is once you have that window from Google at the bottom, you'll have these three little dots that will start wobbling uh, when they hear any kind of sound. So at that point, you know that the Google Assistant is now listening to you and you can tell it the command to open up YouTube. So anyway, I'm going to go through it right now and you can see and hear how I'm doing it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Now, as you can see, it opened up YouTube no problem. Uh, we actually heard all three beeps, which is pretty good. So you had a pretty good under, uh, understanding, uh, audible understanding, when you need to say each one of these phrases. Now, once you have your YouTube open, you want to hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Press it. This will bring up this uh, window right here. So you want to select turn on and then double tap on it and then hold volume up and down once more. This will then suspend the talkback uh, like functions and we can now use the display normally. So from here, we're going to click on the account and then we're going to navigate in to the settings about and Google privacy policy. This will open up our browser. From here, you want to select accept and continue and no thanks. And then at the very top in the search bar, you want to type in hard reset.info slash bypass. Now I'm going to type it in myself. And if you need a moment to one, copy the link once you actually see it, then pause the video. So now would be the time to pause. Gonna select consent right here. And in here we're gonna scroll down till you see the last option, which is the screen lock uh, set many or screen smart lock many option, stupid name, whatever. It's basically a screen lock uh, setting section in the settings. It automatically takes us there. And from here, we're gonna select whatever protection you want to se select. And the reason we want to select it is because this will be overriding the old one, which is used as a verification method right now. Now, at the beginning of the video, you could see that my unlocking or my verification for the Google was either pattern, 
or obviously the Google account. So for this reason, I'm going to select a pin just so it's completely different than it was previously. But that being said, if your device has a verification pattern, you could still select a pattern, just a different one, and this will still override it. Uh, the reason I'm selecting a pin is just so you can visually see that it changes without uh, me actually, you know, verifying anything. So I want to select something completely different. And in addition, uh, this removes this kind of uh, possible, you know, trickery that I'm just unlocking the device with a pin that was correct. So by se selecting a pin uh, instead of the pattern, I will not be able to put in the correct pattern, which I do know I want to point that out. I know how to unlock this device. Uh, so for this reason, I'm selecting pin because that will completely change what is being displayed as a verification method. Now, with that being said, we're gonna, at least I'm gonna select pin. I'm gonna put it in. So I'm gonna make a very simple pin, one, two, three, four. Next, confirm it once more, one, two, three, four. And most likely nothing will happen as you've seen right now. So we're gonna keep on repeating this step till we get to the next page. Again, nothing happened, repeat. Now when I'm saying nothing happened is it didn't go to the next page after you select a screen lock. It just goes back to the screen lock uh, se selection options, which is, in other words, nothing happened. So you want to keep on repeating this Till you get a next page. Which is this one. From here we're gonna just scroll down. I'm gonna select skip right here. And that's it. It's now replaced. So what we're gonna do is... Let's see, do we just reboot the device or do we go back? Okay, so we are just gonna simply spend the back button till we get to the beginning of the setup and we're gonna progress through it. And in a second, and there we go. You can see that it's telling me to now draw a verification pin or draw, type in instead of the pattern that was used at the very beginning of the video as a verification method. So all I'm gonna do now is put in one, two, three, four, and it will now allow me to finish up the setup. Now to clarify what just happened is, uh, Android can only keep one screen lock at a time for some stupid reason, even if it's a verification method, uh, we need to verify it. It's technically considered on this device as a, as a screen lock that is being, or yeah, screen lock that is being set on the device. So by forcing the device to set a new one, it can only remember one. So when you replace that one, it now tells you to verify the one that you set up. So from here, we can now finish up the setup. Now, like I mentioned, uh, this will allow us to basically gain access to the home screen, but there's one last thing that we will need to do to fully unlock the device. And that is once we actually have our icons visible, There we go. So we're gonna navigate into the settings. So we just need to give it a moment because it's a little bit slow after the uh, setup. And from here, we're gonna scroll all the way down to system. And then we're gonna select reset options, erase all data, factory reset, erase all data, confirm your pin, pattern, password, whatever you have chosen, and then select erase all data once more. Now. That being said, I'm not gonna go through it on the video just because it is a, a reset of the, the phone. It's fully automatic. Once you press on that erase all data button, the screen goes black, it resets it and takes you back to the uh, setup of the device. Now, it seems might be might seem counterintuitive. Uh, so let me explain why we want to do this. So right now the device is still possibly locked. So there might be still uh, data from the previous user like the Google accounts. Now, by performing a factory reset of the device through settings, like I'm telling you to do right now, uh, you're forcing the device to basically remove all this kind of uh, backlog data, like the Google accounts, screen locks, and all that stuff that might still be stored somewhere in the system of this device. 
Uh, so therefore, once the reset is finished, the device is then fully unlocked without a doubt. And uh, from there, you can go through the setup however you want. Like I said, it will be fully unlocked, so go through the setup however you like. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful and everything went smoothly for you. If that is the case, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.